Hey, hello everyone. It's Cheryl from Tinker's Cart Art. I'm pretty excited. It's almost May and you know what that means? It means my membership is open. Opening. I'm going to uh, open on Mother's Day, May 8th. This is the Tinker's Cardist membership, and I thought I would pop in and just tell you a little bit about it. I know you may have heard me talk about it. I know a lot of you um, are already in it. It's so much fun and so affordable and a great way to learn to paint. If you're a brand new beginner, have never painted before, but have an interest and want to start, this is a great way to do it. I take you literally step by baby step through the paintings. Paintings like this little raccoon guy here, all kinds of simple, simple paintings, more detailed paintings. But if we go step by baby step, I will get you through the painting. You don't know how to draw and you can't draw a straight line. It's not a problem. I'm going to give you a tracer. If it's a design that needs to be traced on, I'll give you that in a multitude of sizes. So you can put it on any size canvas, paint it in a mixed media pad, uh, on a piece of wood, whatever you would like. We, we do touch on painting on other surfaces other than just canvas too. So what it is, it's a monthly membership. And for, the, for, the, for a price that's way less than just one paint night, if you go out to a paint night, you're going to get two recorded classes. I'm going to send those to you by email. They're also available in our private community over on Mighty Networks. You're going to paint with me live once a month for a complete class. And then we go live once a month in Zoom also just to network, to do a short tutorial. I'll teach you something like how to paint clouds in, in, in just a little small segment so that you can use these little building blocks in your other paintings. So we'll do, we'll touch on how to paint waves, how to paint skies, how to paint trees. Sometimes we just practice brush strokes. Sometimes we just turn up and paint whatever we want and I'm there to guide you along and answer any questions you have on a painting that you might be working on. You have a lot of, um, help from me individually. Anytime you need help, you can send me a message, a picture of your painting. I could go on with you privately and show you little tips and tricks on your painting if you're if you're struggling with it. So what it is, is you get these lessons, but even more so, we have a fabulous creative community in there too. You're going to meet and network with other beginners, um, other more accomplished artists. You're going to have friends to show your paintings to. It's a no judgment zone. You can show anything and we're all right there to help you. So if it sounds like something you might be interested in, I'm going to put the description uh, in the description. I'm going to put the link for the waiting list and a little bit of more information. There is no obligation. You could take a look, get on the waiting list. You might decide that it's not the time, but at least you will hear from me when I do reopen again um, during the year. So anyways, I would love it if you would uh, take a look at some of my, you can, you can actually even go to YouTube to Tinker's Cart Art and see a lot of free classes. You can follow along on those and see if you like the style I paint and if you like the method and the way I work, um, you might consider joining us and that would be great too. So it's very low, it's affordable and no obligation. You could jump in for a month and try it. So no worries there. But let me give you a little peek into some of the paintings that we do. So we, we've got this one coming up because um, right now I'm talking to you and it is April. So this is April showers, but it's really a fun painting because it could be good for Mother's Day, too. If you wanted to just adjust the numbers of the little ducks to um, how many children you have or, or grandchildren, it might be fun. Super, super simple background. Takes minutes to do. And literally, I will walk you right through it. So you don't even think about I can't paint it. We don't we don't have that attitude here. This is really popular last spring little pink bicycle really again a fun background so I teach you the background this is like a palette knife painted background born barn boardy looking which you can then incorporate into all sorts of other paintings it doesn't have to be just the bicycle painting when you learn these little bits say like on this one here again I'll teach you how to do flowers that flower uh, uh, technique you could use in a little still life it, it, it's lots of uh, little bits and pieces to because I want you to build your own paintings. I want you to, to move along and then build your own paintings, look at a still life, look at a photo you took, and, and have some uh, building blocks for that. So you have learned flowers, you've learned some leaves with me, you've learned a background. You might put them all together and not have to worry about going by a tutorial or a painting that I've already showed you or another artist. You can start creating your own, and that's super exciting. So here's my little Highland Koo. He was fun. We did him in the membership recently, Valentine's Day. Uh, the Be Mine, again, great background technique, floral wreath. You could make it round. You can make it a grapevine wreath. doesn't have to be a heart in a Valentine's themed. The little bee, you could paint on something else. 
this was a little bunny we did um, last month knowing that Easter was coming and super um, cute. And just as a little uh, animal painting, doesn't have to really be geared towards Easter too much. This is coming up for Memorial Day and Flag Day and 4th of July. So that'll be, this is a, so super fun and quick. This is a quick little thing I did the other day, a painting with my palette knife on my mixed media pad. It was fashioned after a painting that I just won a ribbon actually in an art show for, and it was similar to this. So we, we will talk about other techniques. We're gonna do a little sketching. We're gonna do a little bit of palette knife painting. Just mixed media, just things if you wanna jump in and, and try some other things. This little Melbourne, sunset painting we've recently done. This is coming up for my members this month. We will be having this class soon. It's a desert uh, in bloom painting. You know what's fun about things like this is you might not be a pink person, but you could change this background to any color. You can leave the flowers off and just make the succulents and the cactuses. This was very appropriate for April. We just did walking in the rain. That was a fun little painting. Last month, this is a favorite of mine. I love this Serenity Falls. It's a waterfall painting. Now, I know you might think it looks detailed, but look really close. See how abstract it is? We used some palette knife. We used our liner brush. And again, don't fear because I can take you through that painting so easily. I promise you, try it with me. And if it doesn't work out for you, um, like I said, there's no obligation in the membership. And there are a lot of classes out there on my page, on my Facebook page. Join my Mighty Networks. Over there, I've got paid, uh, little tutorials for you. I'll give you that link as well. And uh, in YouTube. So I just really ha would like to, to try it and see if you like how I paint because I have a certain method and you either love it or you don't. But I'd love to hear from my my painters, what you think? Is it easy easy to follow? I see you guys doing amazing painting. So um, if you would chime in and let people know that uh, that uh, you don't have to know how to paint or draw, you can jump in and uh, paint along with me. This one is coming up. It looks detailed as well, but look at closely. Look at those flowers. They're just patted on with a palette knife. Super, super easy. I don't want to take too much time, and I hate to be salesy, but I am excited. I have a great membership, and it's growing, and it, we have been closed for, gosh, a long time. So now we're opening in May on Mother's Day, and uh, try it out. I'd love to have you in my group and paint with you. I have so much fun seeing your paintings. It's thrilling for me. I love designing paintings. All my paintings that I give you and teach you are my own original paintings. They're not from other uh, tutorials and classes. These are all original. And a side note, if you are a painter or uh, a paint party business person and you need ideas, I have a million of them. My favorite thing is designing paintings. So if you want to join my membership and get an idea of how I teach, because it's a very simple method that you can use in your own business, as well as using my paintings and designs. As long as you're a member, you have full license to use them on uh, anything you like. You can do them in your classes. You can offer them up all, all um, in person. I, I, I can't have you do them online, but if you want to do anything in person with my paintings, art kits, um, selling at shows and craft fairs, I have a million ideas for you. So that's another thing too. If you are a more accomplished painter and you want to just use some designs and get some new uh, input for your classes. I'm here for that as well. So listen, I won't keep you all day. Thanks for listening. Share with your friends if you have any artsy friends. And if you always wanted to be artistic, but feel you can't, or you had the art teacher in second grade that said, oh, well, you know, you don't really have what it takes. It doesn't take anything. There's no right or wrong here where I paint. And um, I just want you to have fun and enjoy it. So anyways, information's there. I'd love to hear from you. Bye now.